to this T. Now, we are about to get into Mr. L. Davis. He uh, went live today and, you know, had to speak his piece or whatever about the whole situation with Krishan. Yes, we are still on this situation. <clears throat> now, before we uh, really dive into this, I want to say something, y'all. Um, and if you skip this, this why you be in the comments mad. Literally. At yourself. Um, I always, and I'm going to forever say, if Krishan did that, clearly she is wrong as hell. I mean, who in their right mind would be like, oh, hell yeah, I'm so happy you hit him in the face. Like, that's not, that's not what this is, and that's not what y'all about to make this be. It's not. But my only problem is the stories are different. Period. They could be different from experience, or some of them events just didn't happen. Um, unfortunately, the fact that they won't prove what it is that they're calling out is the problem as well. <laughs> so I just want to put that out there. But if she did this, she is obviously dead ass wrong. I mean, y'all want me to paint it on my forehead or something like she's wrong. Nobody should put their hands on anybody. I don't put my hands on anybody. Why would I condone her putting her hands on anybody? The thing is, it's already done. That's a fact. So what are we supposed to do to fix this? What, what is going to happen? Where is the police report? Where is the proof? Goddamn, you got proof for everything else. Where is that proof? I don't think anybody is wrong for wanting that. Because you know who's going to want it? The judge. The DA. Them. They going to want it too, y'all. I ain't nobody's judge. I ain't nobody's DA. But well, damn, if we all listening to the same story, it's sounding different. What happened for real? I know Krishan's history. I know she put hands on people. In most of those events, she's been dead ass wrong. And I said that. You get what I'm saying? I have not yet to say, I'm so happy Krishan hit him in the face. Y'all can't put that on me. Sorry. If you ask me, this is a projection of a lot of y'all that may or may not have been in a physical altercation. I have too dealt with abuse. I have too. But I know if I had to put my side of the story out, I got to have my proof. Period. I don't think anybody is wrong for asking for that. <laughs> and if you can't get that proof, what would make one say, oh, then that is just absolutely right. What happened is just absolutely, I've heard them say it, so it happened. Y'all want people to do that. And I feel like a lot of people are so eager to do that because of her past. I don't blame you. That's what uh, Krishan has created for herself, and that's what she's going to have to deal with, period. But without any proof, yeah, I'm not hopping on the train of, she did it. It's all her fault. Nothing happened on their end. I ain't doing that shit. I don't give a damn how mad y'all are in the comments. I'm not doing that shit. Something happened. And you know my biggest issue is nobody is saying what provoked her outside of you wasn't down there on, on, the, on the stage, on the side, whatever. But I do know watching those videos, she was being treated like uh, she wasn't invited. She was absolutely being treated like she wasn't invited. She was absolutely irate, though. She was a little, uh, not even a little, had to be drunk. Had to be on something because she was tripping. I also said that. I don't understand the whole, like, I'm just sucking Krishan. I'm not saying what y'all want me to say. And that's okay. But I know what I feel in my heart. So we can listen to this now. Fuck what I feel in my heart, though. I want to know what happened <laughs> on paper. Like, give me some paper. Give me some video. What's poppin' everybody? Um, can y'all just make sure, I just wanna make sure that y'all can hear me because I hate when people do Instagram lives and then you can't hear them and they have to start all over. So I just wanna make sure everybody can hear me. Let me know that y'all can hear me because I don't wanna like have to keep talking. Wait, can y'all hear me? Everybody saying they can hear me. Okay. Okay, great. Y'all can hear me. All right. Thank God for Jesus. Um, 
one more, one second. Let the people of the church come into the building. Um, so just want to make this real quick, get this out of the way. Um, I wanted to do this a few days ago, but let me tell you something. I know that I was like, oh, I don't know Krayshawn like that. And, you know, I know she made music or whatever, but Krayshawn has a bunch of fans, baby, because they have been wearing my ass out. They got my Instagram live um, blocked for four days. So I could not be on Instagram live. So I'm going to say that like, I know that I didn't say that I didn't know about her and her ringtone, but baby, Krayshawn has the fans, honey. Um, so I, I just want to do this live real quick. This is not going to be a bashing live and like trying to, uh, expose people or whatever. Um, I do want to start this live first by saying that I would like to apologize to James Wright Chanel. Um, I want to apologize to him because before I went online on Friday and talked about what happened at the show, I did not ask James, could I say anything? I did tell him I was going to, um, but I wasn't like, James, is it cool or whatever. Um, I talked to James at that night. Well, I stayed at the venue until like 2 a.m., making sure that everybody was good and everybody was okay. Um, and then when I left, like James was getting ready to go to the hospital. I called and talked to James every 30 minutes and um, we were FaceTiming and when I saw him on FaceTime, it had gotten worse. Like his face had gotten worse from the time that I saw him at the venue versus once he was at the hospital. And I really got really like angry and frustrated and, and emotional and maybe, um, maybe like prematurely, I was like, oh, I was like, James, I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna get on Instagram and let everybody know what happens. And I didn't ask him, I told him that I was going to do it. Um, so I do want to apologize to James for that. I've spoken to James every day since this has happened, um, multiple times a day. James has never said to me that he had a problem with me doing that, but I do want to start that off with apologizing to James publicly if he does feel a way that I said something before he did. So I do want to say that. Um... Then, you know, I've been getting dragged for Phil for like the past four or five days and ain't nobody said nothing, but you know, it is what it is. Um, it was Jane's story to tell from the jump. And the word I was looking for the other day is discrepancies, but girl, I'm going to let him talk over it. <laughs> I wanna I know in the comments people were saying and they saw me be like, oh, this is my tour. Um, and people were like, this is not your tour, this is, you know, Tamar's tour, and you, you know, you, you, whatever, this isn't yours. And I just want to clarify what I mean when I say that this is my tour. This is something that um Tamar has said publicly that this is something her and I planned together, that we had pitched this tour to people, people didn't believe in it, so uh, her and I kind of thugged it out and made this thing happen ourselves. And I just want to clarify, when I say that it's my tour, yes, it's Tamar's name on the ticket and, and she's singing, but it's parallel to that. It's my name on all the deals. I have had to... So this is not like a real tour. This is a bunch of one-offs we put together to create a tour because nobody believed in having an actual Love & War 10-year anniversary tour. So I have had to personally be in contact with every single venue that has been played and that is going to be played and negotiate with them and um, set dates and pick dates and, and talk to them and get the money that she wants and deserves and that she asked for has literally been all me. You know what I'm saying? So I have been the promoter in this situation. So just like any other promoter or, you know, people that put shows together, when they talk about things that they've created, they'd be like, oh, this is my show. This is my tour. Because if it wasn't for them, just like if it wasn't for the artists and the artists and their talent, there would not be a tour or a show. So I wanted to clear that up for when I say that y'all saw me in the comments like, oh, 
this is my show. Like, I can't get fired. This is my show, which is true. I don't work for Tamar. I do not work for Tamar. That is a common misconception. I am not a Tamar employee. I am not on anybody's payroll, okay? I work for myself. And so I just wanted to say that um, and clear that up. I'm never, ever, ever going to try to take away from Tamar and her talent. Like, I believed in this when nobody else did. I thought and still think that everybody deserves to experience the Love and War album in its entirety and how great it is and how great she sounds. And how yeah, I just want y'all to know Love and War was one of my favorite albums. I ain't got nothing against Tamar, especially her musically. How great she looks. So when I say this is my tour too, I'm not taking that away from her, but it, it does have to be acknowledged and it does have to be respected that just like if this tour, if it wasn't for Tamar, this tour wouldn't happen. Just like if, if it wasn't for me, this tour wouldn't have happened. And Tamar said that, like, you could, there's tweets of her saying like, you know, thank Mr. L. Davis for this whole, you know, 10 year anniversary thing. It wouldn't have been anything without him. And so I just want to say that to clarify when I have said in the comments, like, oh, you know, this is my show or whatever. Not trying to take anything away from her. Okay, so the next thing, uh, which is really what I wanted to talk about. Not going to be here long, I promise. What I really wanted to talk about is there have been a lot of people um, online and personally, like, not a lot of people, like, personally, but um, people that have access to me that have said that you should not have said anything. You should have let that remain private. Let everybody handle it. Um, you know, uh, without everybody knowing what happened, you should have just not said anything. And what I'm going to say to that is, I will never, ever in my life, and still won't, and I'm not ever going to apologize for exposing an abuser. As somebody that has wit witnessed abuse and has witnessed friends get like within inches of death being in abusive relationships and in, in, in abusive situations. I will never apologize for calling out something or someone or anyone that I know for a fact and it's not speculation has been abusive. I feel that so many times people are abused and, you know, people are abused and, or they end up dead or they end up in the hospital in a coma. You know, they get stabbed by a boyfriend or a jealous best friend or, you know, they get shot and they're fighting for their lives. And the first thing everybody says is, oh, my God, why didn't anybody say anything? I had no idea that was going on. Nobody told me that this abuse was going on. Oh my God, you had me around these people and you never told me that they were abusive. I had no idea. And then everybody want to be at the funeral crying. Everybody want to be at the hospital bringing flowers and edible arrangements. But nobody spoke up about the abuse that they knew was happening. And so for me, again, as somebody that has seen abuse and, and, and abusive um, behavior in relationships. And just to be honest, abuse is not just when you're with somebody intimately or you're in a relationship or whatever. Abuse is when somebody is like verbally, physically, mentally abusive. That is <laughs> abuse. And for all the people that are saying that I should not have said anything and I should have been quiet. There are plenty of people that are dead in the ground right now today because people around other people that were being abused didn't say anything. So I absolutely don't disagree with that at all. Um, well, I don't, I don't disagree with the fact that people have absolutely passed because they did not say something about their own personal situation he is absolutely 100% correct about that. And somebody should have said something because that's definitely the first thing I asked. Why the hell you ain't say nothing? So I'm with him on that one. <clears throat> but to, to the, the question of why are people angry with him or he don't understand why people are angry with him. And I mean, he basically said people that's closest to him are angry because A, it wasn't his story to tell. I don't know if he needed to convince James or whatever, but it just, it wasn't your story to tell. 
Um, and hell, to apologize to James and then come around and say, but I don't, I don't regret it or whatever. That's, that's absolutely not a real apology because it sounds like James did not want that to be out there. He doesn't realize how much turmoil he has put on other people <laughs> in their lives because um, her fans ain't feeling this and the tab, you know, not tabloids, the uh, the blogs is getting all of this, you know what I'm saying? And, and com- constantly posting him and whatever. Uh, it could be, it could have been him going through physical and mental, it, you know, damage, but now it's even more, you know what I'm saying? Because he absolutely stepped over a boundary that he wasn't supposed to. Um, and I feel like it's a projection um, as to why he did it um, because of what he's witnessed and and things like that. And I mean, either you going to agree with it or you're not, you know. Um, but I will say if James feels some type of way and you apologize and then just kind of said, but fuck you anyway, I mean, he could have kept that apology, quite frankly. Um, him calling the police or him making the, um, having James press charges or having the venue press charges, whatever. Uh, I feel like that's speaking out. I feel like that is absolutely speaking out. Um, especially in the event that this happened. Yeah. Uh, we need to tell somebody, first of all, them security guards would have been on her ass. If I was the friend, what you mean? My friend just got punched in the face. Don't let her leave the building. You know what I'm saying? She ain't leaving the building. <laughs> Y'all can forget that shit. <laughs> so I don't understand how the hell she left. I don't understand how the security didn't stop her. That, I'll never understand. 28 security guards, the celebrity in the dressing room with two other people, no celebrity on the dress. I mean, no security guard on the dressing room outside. Well, I got a lot of questions. But with that being said, for you to speak out makes sense to speak to the police, to with security, with the team. Everybody barricade this bitch. She ain't leaving. Hello? Because that's what the fuck I would have did had that been me or my friend in that situation. But bringing it to social media, I mean, what the fuck you telling us for? Quite frankly, I, nobody, none of... Nobody can do anything about that. I'm sorry, y'all. Call me wrong all you want. I don't give a damn. I would have took this way different. Okay? Krishan wouldn't have left that building without being in some handcuffs. How the fuck did she do all that damage, right? Had it happened, she did all that damage, and that girl walked out that building. Do y'all think he was looking out for him then? I want to know. Do y'all think he was looking out for James in that moment? Please answer me. I want to know. And they kept it quiet and they handled it privately. And then those people went on to abuse other people. And so I will never apologize forever, ever, ever, ever calling out an abusive person for attacking someone. And that's just that. And again, my apology is to James if James was not ready for that to be said or, you know, I didn't get I guess, permission from him or running by him that I was going to say something. Well, I didn't ask him. I just told him, I'm like, James, I'm going to call you right back. Because when I saw James' face again on FaceTime, I was like, oh, hell no. I'm like, I'm getting on Instagram right now. And that's what I did. Instead of going up to the hospital, <laughs> y'all, y'all don't want to hear me. <laughs> y'all don't want to hear me, and that's okay. <laughs> Ain't no way in the fuck my first thought <laughs> is to tell Instagram as I'm looking at you in pain. I'm looking at my friend in pain, and I'm not at the hospital with him. But I want to tell everybody. <laughs> I'm just... tired <laughs> uh y'all think that 
I'm a character, right? And I'm Delulu and I'm so slow. I'm a part of the rock charts. But y'all believe this shit? Like, I felt so bothered that, honey, South, let me ask you a question. If I was in the hospital and I just got punched in the nose, my tooth is chipped, and I'm just all fucked up. Would you think to go live and let everybody know what happened? Or would you come to the hospital with me? She says she'll be at the hospital and go on live at the same time. Now, that's a good answer. Because also, I would have said, James, we need to tell everybody about this as I was beside his ass. Okay? I got to see you if you fucked up like that. But I'm right there with you. We're going to hold this down together. But you know. But again, I did not um, <sighs> make sure that was okay with James first. So I do just want to say that publicly that if I, James, dead ass, like, you know, I've talked to you every single day, multiple times a day since this has happened. Um, I know you, you have not said to me that you are upset with me about that. But if you are, I do want to say publicly, I apologize to you for that. Um, for saying something before you were ready for anybody to say anything. But again, I want to reiterate this, and I want to make this very clear. For any and everyone that is in the comments or saying, and, and they're worried about reputation and, and all this other stuff that to me, still to this day, doesn't matter. When somebody is physically hurt and assaulted, I will not apologize ever for calling out an abuser. And I actually employ people. He shouldn't have never apologized to James. To, he should have kept um, that one. Because he do doesn't mean it. <laughs> you know somebody's being abused. Or, or like, like you just, it's the craziest thing to me that people are like, you should have not told the truth about somebody being abusive. You should have kept that quiet. You should have kept that behind closed doors. And I just, with the police, with the security, with the hospital, and with the dentist, and with the governor. I mean, you even said, we can't do no more. It's up to the governor. Bitch, I'm at the governor door then. H Hello? Hey! Oh, uh, you know what happened to my friend? Did you hear what happened to my friend? Something happened to my friend. It was Krishan Rock. I need y'all to go pull up. Yeah, she did it. <laughs> Krishan did such and such. She did it. Krishan did such. Oh, the governor gonna know. He gonna know. Governor, I wrote you a hundred letters, okay? Mr. Biden, I'm gonna call Channel 9 up here if y'all don't. What the fuck was you getting out of telling us? And y'all ain't going to hear me, and that's okay. That is okay. <sighs> if somebody hurt my friend like this, I mean, to st when they say a chipped tooth and uh, a messed up nose or broke, I don't know which one, but concussed, like, Paul's would have had to be on Krishan. Or security would have been on Krishan. Or y'all said the police came two hours. Security can hold you until the police get there. Especially if she did something wrong. I mean, citizens can do that. It's called a citizen's arrest. I don't know if that's illegal in L.A., but it wasn't just a regular citizen. It was the damn security. So how the fuck y'all let her leave? I, I, it would never, I would never understand that. She did that shit. Instead, like we went to social media instead of getting Krishan locked up. That be the case. I just, I, man. I feel especially in the African-American community, we do that just, so much. Everybody just always wants to say, no, don't, no, keep that in the house. Don't tell nobody. No, shh, kitchen, cable, kitchen table talk. 
And it's like, nah, dog, like, people are being, like, hurt. And anybody that knows me, they know that I am, like, a big-ass teddy bear. I have a mouth on me. Okay, right. But um, I'm a big-ass teddy bear, and I really, really care, and I really, really love people. And it really, really, really upset me and made me angry when I saw James' face the way that I saw it on Friday. So, um, again, I do regret. For, no, I don't regret. We know. I do apologize if James is upset that I went online talking about it before he did. I do not apologize for calling out someone that has been consistently abusive, has abused somebody that I know. Now, James and I, excuse me, aren't like best friends. We're, you know, we're not like, uh, I don't want to make it seem like, oh my God, James and I talk every day, all day. And, you know, we do family dinner all the time and stuff. It's not that, but James is a person that I spend a lot of time with. Um, James and I have had our hiccups in the past where we, you know, we have butt heads a few times, but I would never want anything to happen to him and to see that to happen to him and to know when and how it happened to him infuriated me. And um, that is why I jumped online that day. So it infuriated me to jump online. Um, I will never see y'all think I'm thinking from a place of taking up for Krishan when I haven't taken up for Krishan this whole video. Girl, if that shit happened, <laughs> baby, you not leaving the bit. Baby, if somebody punched me in my nose and chipped my tooth, would they leave the building? Girl, questioning if you can still breathe for real. So we decided not to hit her back. We also decided not to get security on her ass. And I mean, clearly the police, they ain't coming yet. But y'all could still hold her there. Y'all didn't leave to two hours later. I mean, could 28 security guards not stop her either? I just, that will never. If he was my friend telling me that, I would tell him he's a fucking fraud. Because, see, a real friend ain't going to watch their friend get jumped. Bitch, they jump in. Well, like, I, he ain't supposed to hit a woman. Okay, bet. Get security to give her a citizen's arrest in until the police get there. I just, um, <laughs> I, you think Krishan can just bulldoze through 28 security guards? And, I mean, hell, if she did that, wouldn't they have a right to do so? I'm just saying. I, I. I just, I, I am behooved. <laughs> Say this one last time, James. Let that go. You don't mean it. If you feel a way about me going online. And then you come on live to say that instead of hitting his phone saying, I apologize. You'd rather say it online. And then if you feel a way, knowing he feels a way, he didn't want, clearly he didn't want the internet to know. Clearly Tamar didn't either. And everybody else. So he don't mean this. Like, save this apology. And talking about it on Friday before you got a chance to. I don't mean to hit you, but hit you. Like, come on, man. I want to apologize to James for that. But I also want to make it very, very, very Apologize very then right after I that. I never in my That's life crazy. apologize man. for exposing an abu ex abuser, I would never apologize for telling the truth. And I actually would like that um, if more people would, would uh, I know you guys have been saying I've been getting death threats, people say they're going to beat me up. And that's a lot of times why people don't speak up when they know about people being in abusive behavior, uh, abusive relationships and abusive behavior because they're scared of the backlash they'll get. Just like I've been getting for, for, for this. But um, yeah, I just want to jump in here and say that, like this, like I said, this is not a bash anybody thing. It has been a few days, honey, for sure. Um, but I did just want to say that I am not going to be apologizing for not keeping this private. I think that that is a huge problem, especially in the African American community, when people know that people are harming. I completely agree. People definitely should speak up more. <laughs> That's not a lie.
and they should speak up. If we got to speak up to the police, let's get our restraining orders in order. If we got to speak up to the uh, security, let's get the security. I am an advocate for going to get your gun license, please. Baby, go get that gun license and go get it now. When I say advocate, I'm all for that shit, especially for women. <laughs> get that gun license asapery, okay? It's just him. He just, y'all, what he's talking about? He's right, period. But the context of it is the problem. Man, I'm sorry, but I don't, I, I, I do it again, nigga. Word. You get hit again, I'm telling everybody again against your will. I just, how, what a great apology. <laughs> uh, Other people and don't say anything that, that's not cool and that's not okay. And I'm never going to be that person. And whatever uh, repercussions come to me because of that, that's on me. You know what I'm saying? But I know at the end of the night and at the end of the day, I'm going to be able to say, yo, like, you know that was wrong. You know James. James was assaulted and you spoke up about it. And there's going to be nobody in this world that is going to make me feel bad about speaking out about abuse and i'm sure many of you guys know people that have been in abusive relationships abusive friendships abusive you know workplace violence like Thanks. all this stuff and nobody ever says anything and then you know a person that's being abused ends, ends up committing suicide and everybody's like oh we had no idea that they were being abused and it's like yeah because y'all shade people and shame people for speaking out against abusers how does that work? Like, how does it become the, the person that's being abused and the person that cares about the abuse speaking out? How does it become their fault? And so I just wanted to say that if anybody thinks I'm going to apologize for speaking out about what happened on Friday, which, you know, eight days later, everybody has now come out and said was the truth. And I know people say, like, our stories have been changed and stories are different. Everybody's story is different. Every, everybody's experience was, was different. So every, nobody. Also a problem because uh, you said Krishan stormed in a room with a thousand people. And you also said after James said, no, nah, it wasn't that. It was, what, what was it? Something, nothing about you performing it. We thought you just did shit on Zoom. And then the only thing that is correct is she said, say it again. And then did the, you know, hit him or whatever, allegedly. Yeah, the tour manager said it was him. Who we got, Mooney. <laughs> we know why Krishan ain't hit Mooney, Mooney like these, okay? <laughs> him, Mooney. Um... Tamar and Krishan, four people in the room, gang. Okay? Different experiences. You wasn't in the room. <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't. My story is going to be the same. It never <laughs> happens. Like, that's why there's so many different versions of the Bible. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that, I just wanted to clear that up. Oh, because shit. I did not lie. Um, Yo, the, the damn jury would be like, well, the judge would be like, I'm going to need y'all to say this to the jury correctly because the story ain't the same. Because guess what? Uh, in order for the jury to be able to convict you, they need the storyline and they need the storyline to be correct. People always say the storyline never changed or the storyline keeps changing, which means it's discrepancy. It's like tampering with evidence. But girl, whatever. Uh, I'm, uh, um, it happened as it's been confirmed by other people outside of just me at this point. And um, I will not be issuing an apology for calling out somebody that is abusive and somebody that physically assaulted someone and somebody that chipped somebody's tooth and somebody that busted somebody's nose and somebody that busted. I thought it was broke. Somebody's lip open. I'm not. I'm just not hearing about the lip. Oh, cap. Going to apologize for calling that out. I'm not going to wait for that to happen to somebody else. And then everybody, then everybody want to go public like, well, you know, 
she beat up James at the concert eight years ago. And everybody like, well, why didn't nobody say nothing? Y'all, y'all, y'all continue to allow this to happen. Um, so that's that. Again, it's not a bash party. I, I'm never here to bash nobody ah, or, or throw anybody under the bus. But I did want to say that it's been a lot of comments about that in particular. Um, so that is all that I wanted to say. Um, it's a very unfortunate situation. I'm no longer a part of the 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 tour that I put together. Damn. But it is fine. I still Damn. want to go. I think it's a great show. I've worked my ass off. I have sacrificed a lot. Time, energy, money, connections. Damn. I have worked my ass off. And um, for anybody that thinks that I would try to sabotage something that I took on for That's what you did. For free. Okay, there was not a dollar or a dime up front. Um, I actually think at this point, everybody on this tour has made more money than me. Now nah, he's shading them. Um, Girl, I, this is no a shit show. There's no way that I would want to destroy that or not see that do well. So I just hope that this cloud and shadow that's over it at this point goes away soon. I know everybody's going to be like, well, you, why are you still talking about it? I have told y'all. They, then people got my Instagram live of, of, what's it called? Disabled for three to four days. But let me tell you, Krishan's fans do not play. I like. Y'all hear he know how to say a name now. When, when the Krishan fans started coming at me, I was like, what did I get myself into? Because I really, I wasn't. So he thinking that, what the fuck you think James thinking? What you think Tamar thinking? What you think the tour manager thinking? You opened up a whole can of bullshit. Krishan, if Krishan did that, you were supposed to take that, not you, excuse me, James Tamar, tour manager, was supposed to take that up with the law. Not you. You didn't have nothing to do with it. And you still don't see where you're wrong in that area. Man, if I was Tamar, I would have fired your ass too. And if I was James, I wouldn't talk to your ass no more. James seems like a shy guy. He seemed like the type, he don't want, uh, uh, uh. I don't want all that. Hell on. And you just brought all this bullshit to him. Instead of being at the hospital with him, taking it up with the laws, making sure Krishan don't leave the stadium, or, or excuse me, wherever the hell y'all was at, the, the uh, event space, making sure uh, no vu, no vo, whatever, making sure she don't leave. Like, these are steps that's taken before we even go live. What a friend, because you didn't do none of that shit. <laughs> like, how, how is anybody supposed to give you a round of applause for letting the internet know, and we can't do nothing to Krishan, nothing. We can't lock her up. We can't even say she wrong because ain't nobody got no motherfucking proof. Krishan does have the history of doing this. Absolutely. And that's what you was going off of. She got the history of doing this, so they're going to believe it. I don't know it, what you wanted. I don't even like the word clout, so I ain't on that train. Like, you want a clout? I don't give a fuck about that shit. But you had nothing to do with this. That's why everybody done cut your ass off. And he still don't see it. That's crazy. Like, I really was not familiar. I was like, I, okay, I want to address that too. I never said I didn't know her. I didn't know that she did like real, like real people performance music. But bullshit. I was like, oh, like this girl is a big deal. Like the people are really, really, really into her. And, and they started threatening me and got my, um, my Instagram live disabled. I said, oh, baby, I have spoke out against the wrong abuser. <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. I can sleep at night knowing that I, I, I feel good about what I did um, and how I said it. I just don't feel good if it affected James negatively. Nigga, what a contradiction. <laughs> I feel good and I can sleep at night about what I did. However, if it offended James, maybe I'm not sleeping good. <laughs> what the fuck is because he didn't deserve any of that at all. And um, if my, oh my video God. added to his, his 
is distress, <laughs> oh, as dramatic as that sounds, but it's pretty distressful to get attacked for no reason. Oh, uh, shit. I do want to apologize to James for that. So, everybody, you know, it's the holiday season. I just want everybody to be like candy and just go fly above all the haters. Everybody just stay prayed up. Um, again, I hope this cloud over this amazing project that I co-created, which is the Love and War 10-Year Anniversary Tour, continues on and that it does well and there's nothing else like this that happens um, when they, I, I, I think they're still continuing on the shows that I booked next month. But that's that. On that, everybody, I ain't trying to drag it out. And um, that's all that I came to say for the saints and for the people. Um, but if y'all can stop dragging me, Y'all been dragging me since Friday. Like, oh my God, y'all not tired. <laughs> y'all not tired of dragging me after telling the truth and speaking up for abusers, but I mean, speaking up against abusers. But all right, that's it, everybody. Uh, everybody take care. And um, I'm going on vacation. I'm mentally already checked out, but mentally and physically checking out as of this. And everybody have a blessed holiday. Thank y'all for coming. Thank me for speaking. That nigga said, thank me for speaking. <laughs> oh, ja. You know, when things happen, people don't get logic um, or see the logic in certain things. And that's why I've always, people have always been um, in certain situations, in certain situations agitated with me. Um... Because I'm speaking from a different place other than, oh, my God, somebody got hurt. Um, If I got hurt, I will understand that shit as well. Like, bitch, my nose, what, you know, my nose, my teeth. I messed up, gang. You know what I'm saying? I would. But I will also want those to be there for me that support me. I don't need you going live, though. You know what I'm saying? So... Don't ever get it misconstrued that I'm laughing at him. Uh, excuse me, James. Um, my just my issue here is um, how they're telling the story. And ha have you seen that they all have fallen out? It's just like we're not even standing as a team right now for us to be taking Krishan to jail and or whatever we're doing. We're not even standing together. You know what I'm saying? We're actually falling apart. Yeah, y'all, how can you stand behind that? Why would I stand behind the team that's falling apart? Um, everybody's clearly not on the same page. Um, and ultimately, I think James just wanted the support of his friends there. I need you here with me. I don't need you on Instagram. I'm about to tell everybody what she did. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> we didn't think to, like... Stop it. And, and at, I forgot uh, the tour manager said that James said to get Krishan out of the room after she hit him. And maybe at that time uh, he was trying to, the tour manager was trying to, um, what you call that shit? Um, he was shocked and he just was trying to gather his thoughts or whatever. I don't know if Krishan ran up out of there. I, but if it's a show... I know they had to hop in a car. I know it might have been in traffic. I mean, I'm sorry. Sis wouldn't have left the building, period. If I was the friend, she wouldn't have left the building, period. Whatever I got to do, whatever we got to do, you're not leaving. <laughs> you ain't leaving tonight. You know what I'm saying? It's men in the room. So, of course, men not going to want to just haul ass and hit her. Tamar is Tamar, obviously. That will be a bigger issue. Um, but that is what security is for. Now, maybe security was not in the room. I completely understand that. Why security wasn't outside the room, I never understand that. Because <clears throat> if we got 28 there, oh, everything's getting taken care of. I'm just not understanding that part. I, uh, anything else, he was just not there, y'all. And that's why with him, it's really like, nigga, <laughs> I want to know from y'all, did y'all feel like this was genuine? That's what I really want to know. Do y'all feel like this was genuine? Do you feel as though 
He genuinely wanted justice for James, genuinely wants justice for James. Or do you think he was just quick to um, put out somebody he already just did not like, period? You know, did, do you feel like it was a projection? Uh, because he may have dealt with something like that. Or he, he obviously said he has dealt with people who has dealt with something like that. He ain't necessarily say he did, but, you know, someone has, right? Do you think that was a projection as far as what he's seen? So I, I, I just got to tell everybody because none of us ever tell anybody. You know what I'm saying? None of us ever speak up. So I'm just going to tell the Internet is what's bothering me. Out of all the people you could have told, boy, and I mean lawfully, out of all the people you could have told, we decide to tell the internet. And I, I just, I would never understand. I would never understand. Like like TT said, all right, bet, we're going to go live while, while I'm going to go live with you while I'm at the hospital. You dig what I'm saying? Because first of all, I got to make sure you good. Not instantly get off the phone with you because I see you in private. That's why everybody has kicked him off the team. He's kicked off the team for that reason, y'all. He like, uh, everybody done kicked me off the team. It's because that was messy as hell. It was. It was messy as hell, y'all. And uh, that was a story for James to tell. Point blank, period. So I want to know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Also, I'm about to go live on Twitch after this, and I might go to YouTube just for y'all to um, know that I'm live. And uh, we're going to open the lines, okay? Y'all going to be able to call me on the phone. We need to, let's get into it. Let's get into it because a lot of y'all have a lot to say, and I want to hear it. So, 10, 10 in the chat. It'll be about 11, 15 when I go live after y'all watch this video. And we'll go from there. Okay? See you in a minute. Twitch.tv slash Royalties World CEO. 